Hello everybody, welcome to beautiful Chuspa, Venezuela. Get ready for punk right. <laughs> Last time I lived primarily in the States was about more than 20 years ago. And damn, a lot can happen in 20 years. You know, I, I think about all the places I've been, all the people I've seen, and all the experiences that I've had. And, and I think about, you know, the greatest story that you could ever tell. And that, of course, is your own life. What is the story of your life? How do you make it so that? It, it is everything that you can expect it to be. How, how do you make yourself the protagonist of your life? Hola, me llamo Miguel Ángel. Pertenezco al grupo de trabajo de Dos Aguas. Vamos rumbo a lugar de, al último sitio de Costa Verde, donde se encuentran los minerales más codiciados, uno de los más codiciados acá, como es el carbón mineral y eh, una beta que hay grande de alcilla natural. Sí, vamos. I've been living in Venezuela for about five years now and there have been so many changes that have taken place even in the short time that I've been here. I came in, oh, just when there were some significant changes in terms of election results and uh, there is the, the exodus for Venezuelans since that point has been tremendous. Here you can see the pineapple beginning as a flower. Soon it will be this big delicious fruit. God, I love pineapple Venezolana. Estos son termitas. Esta casa de termitas sirve para que cuando haya mucho zancudo de genes, usted la puedan prender y el humo es capaz de, dispar, de esparcir esos animalitos para que no los piquen. ¿Ves? Esas son las termitas. Ese, ese puede comer también, me Sí, dice. tienes mucho más vitaminas que la carne. Y se disuelve más rápido en el estómago y te aporta. Lo que pasa es que tienes que comer mucha cantidad y son muy pequeñas. ¿Y cómo <risa> se prepara? No, así las mismo, Las termitas cruda. se comen así crudas. Ah, las termitas, sí. pero... No, 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 al sartén con aceite y un poco no. de picante, algo así. No, sabe a madera, sabe a madera, a madera, a pura madera. The truth is that Venezuela has taken a huge hit with tourism in the last years. But one of the things about being an actual resident of Venezuela is that there are no tourists. Now, for better or for worse, because a lot of people have made their living from it, but in terms of exploring natural beauty right now, there's probably not a better time to be here. All of these places still continue to exist in their little corners of Venezuela. And right along the coast here in Chuspa is one of those treasures. Well, I'm staying at a posada here that is uh, old land that has been divided up by the family and they've built these marvelous structures. You know, if you're willing to take the time and look a little bit, there are really some great secrets hidden all over Venezuela. They say that the mud behind me is filled with carbon-based clay. So a lot of people from the Pueblo come and they brush their teeth with it. They also say there are some health qualities so people come and actually rub it all over their face. I say we give it a try. Soap. Like soap, just like soap. <laughs> yeah. You're very brave. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well the good news is, is that as I jumped the wave, I didn't break or drop my telephone in the Caribbean Ocean, so that is totally a benefit. I did kind of mess up my hand a little bit, what to do. I'm kind of chickening out, what can I say? I just have a thing with it getting all muddy, but truly the deterrent is that, yeah, even though it's Caribbean water, it's a bit cold, man. We're coming into the town called Chuspa. Chuspa was named after one of the local Venezuelan tribes. Chuspai was the name of the, um, the chief, the cacique, and so they have adopted that name. It's fascinating, these towns are scattered all along the, the Venezuelan coast here, and they really haven't changed much in many of the years. They still don't have a lot of running water, uh, there's inf infrequency with electricity, you get electrical cuts two or three times a day, but that's the way it is. Really, in the Thank you. 
The place we're staying at is called Casas Dos Aguas, which means that there are two waters, one being the river, one being the ocean. So we're going to go check out the river today. Vamos rumbo a la quebrada del palito, donde hay un pozo de agua natural, donde vamos a disfrutar de él, a echarnos un bañito, a ver unos que otras cositas como camarones, pescados, cosas naturales. Y bueno, los invito a disfrutar. Vamos. We're well out of town now, and behind me you're looking at just a little uh, finca that we're passing by. But you got on my lower shoulder there's yuca, and you've got uh, platanos y cambures, which are two different types of bananas and uh, you know it's just subsistence farming pretty mellow I know there's so much push for you know, some successful life whatever that means I think how we define our success in our life is one of those ultimate struggles that we have to define for ourselves we are the measure of all the things that we do you need to go out and be proactive about the life that you want to lead or the life that you want to leave. I feel like so many people are trapped in an existence that they don't know how to escape their story. Write your own story. I guess that's the idea of punk right as well, as being, being the main character in the greatest story ever told. And that's your own story. You know, I never thought that there's anything wrong with just staying in one place. I have plenty of friends who have grown up in the same town and they're still living in the same town, working a nine-to-five job, and that is totally cool. I think that you can find happiness that way. For me, though, life has so many experiences to offer, and I don't know. Sometimes you get a little bit drowned in those experiences, but... It just seems to make your life fuller the more that you can incorporate other people's experiences into your own existence. You know, in essence, that's kind of what this human experience is about, for me anyways. Just trying to understand what makes us tick, what makes the world move, and what makes us human. Chuspa, I guess, has given me a little bit of insight into that.